Hey there. Okay, I'm gonna try um, some of my new glitter. I don't know how this is gonna end up, but it is an order cup, so hopefully it ends up okay. That's my 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 hopes. Um, I do have three colors of glitter this time, so I'm gonna go grab one more paper towel because I'm gonna need three different paper towels. That way I can keep dumping my good glitter back into each container each time. All right, um, I was going to just start, put this on before I turn the camera on, but oh well. Um, I'm just gonna get this epoxy on here real quick. It's kind of boring, that's why I was gonna do it the other way, but I forgot and started the video anyway, so here we are. Um, I have a white base on this cup this time because one of my colors is white. So I wanted to make sure that it was nice and bright, bright white. Hopefully I'll have time to watch these videos later and start some cups. I'm dying to use a couple of these glitters I've got, like the Gypsy. Oh, I'm just in love with it. I don't know if I've ever seen a, a glitter that beautiful. But I hope that what I have in my mind for this one works out. Dang it, dropped glitter. Okay, so I should Oops, there's a spot I missed. Alright, so I'm going to start taking this back off again. Get it thin. Thin as I can. Make sure that you go above your line so that your glitter goes all the way to the tape line. Each and every time. You can fast forward this part if you want, if you're watching this. Just get to the good stuff. This is boring. I need like a robot arm to do this part. My arm gets tired holding it upright. Almost there. You don't want to take so much off that you none of your and not enough of your glitter sticks, but I mean you really don't have much jeopardy of that. This is such like glue that your real jeopardy is too much being left on here, so just keep going over, don't get impatient. Keep going over it till you see that it's really even. So your glitter is even on the cup, so it's not clumpy. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit it with my torch, get rid of the bubbles. Okay, now I'm gonna let it roll around a minute. Oh. A few more bubbles on this side. Again, I, I, I really don't think the bubbles make too much difference underneath the glitter, but I always just keep that habit of um, getting rid of them no matter when they are on there. All right, so now that it's, I've probably heated it up quite a bit, so let's let it spin for a second and cool off just a little. And I think I'm going to start with my light color which is going to be at the top. Um, I'm using a whipped cream which is um, a really pretty white 
iridescent. I think I'm gonna use my shaker bottle. I'm just gonna start, because I really want the white to be kind of halfway down. Actually, I'm going to take this lid off and use it that way. It's a little bit easier. It comes out a little smoother to me. Sometimes the shaker bottles are nice and all, but they just kind of stop the glitter from moving when you're letting it when you're dumping it out. I don't like that. I actually have a little bit of other colors in this one on accident because I dumped it back in here and I shouldn't have done that but it's okay it's all the same colors that are going on here so it will not hurt this time all right now I want to put a little bit of this holographic gold on here I really just I don't want a lot of it but I want to make a line here because I'm going to blend it so right now I'm just going to kind of go to the line and then I'll worry about the fade later. Make it as even as you can. Not an easy task when it comes to glitter. It seems to have a mind of its own coming off of the spoon sometimes, which is aggravating. But. Alright, so now I'm going to use the chunky, which is the gypsy. I may have to use some spray glue on this one because I think my line is a little bit too low. But I can fix that with a quick spritz of spray glue. And that's also the way that you would want to ombre it. Um, that seems to help. You can put your bulk of your glitter on with this method. And then when it's kind of rotated for a little while, you come back with a little bit of a little bottle of spray glue. And you can just slightly spray it on the cup and then just like take your fingers and sprinkle the, the glitter on really um, in certain areas that way it's exactly where you want it instead of kind of where you want it and I don't really like where that gold is right now so I'm definitely going to do that with some spray glue because I think what needs to be done is it needs to be more of a ombre right there didn't do a very good job of ombre at all so I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do the spray glue right now so that you can see it. But first I'm gonna hit it with white again. So right now, um, which of course I did the wrong thing. Man, I just bat in zero today. I did not. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I forgot to put my glitter back into the container, which is no big deal. What I'm gonna do is grab the white from down here, which is <laughs> because I forgot to put it in the thing. It's a terrible video, Sherry. I'm messing up. I'm not sure I want to show you the mess up videos because then you might do it wrong. Right now I'm just trying to make sure that white is covered. And I tell you, dealing with multicolor cups is not easy. All one color is so much easier. It's so much simpler, but everybody wants multicolored cups. So we can still make this work. The 
because I'm going to ombre it anyway, I don't mind that some of the little pieces of other color are up in this white. It's kind of cool, actually. But you want to make sure that that's what you wanted it to do, because if you had wanted this to be all white, it would be in trouble right now. can't believe I did that personally. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is put a piece of paper towel under here. I hit this with spray glue. Got a little bottle of uh, spray glue here. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz this thing, and I don't want my glue to get on my good glitter. So, so you go ahead and hit it with the spray glue. That will allow you to add more glitter here without adding more epoxy. Okay. Now, quickly, while it's wet, I'm going to take my fingers and just do this. And if that didn't do the trick, then you'll have to probably hit it with spray glue again. Maybe a little further up so that the, the chunky goes up into the white. kind of messy and I wish I hadn't put that gold in there but we're gonna make it work and now that I've made a huge mess with my glitter and I did not put it back in what I normally do in that situation is I um, make a whole nother container and put it all in there and use it for something else that way I don't lose it I'm still gonna need some glue here I think didn't quite get enough This is a craft Elmer's um, spray glue. It works pretty good in situations like this. It's a really fine, pretty um, spray. It's not like chunky spray. I've actually bought some spray glues that were like chunky and it was really pain. I'm just going to take my hands again, take some of this, scatter it upwards just a little, just a little. You can overdo it so fast. I mean, it's like lightning fast, and then you're trying to recover from what you just did. I don't want to show you an ombre that sucks. Mm. I'm listening to music again, sorry. This time it's Brian Adams. All right now I can already see major sticking up action happening here because the spray glue tends to do that. So what we're gonna, it's gonna be okay though. We will be able to tamp it down. So don't worry yet. So 
Sorry for my hands. I really need to go get a manicure or something. They look like man hands. Coming out pretty good, actually. I was scared for a minute. And that's the thing. I mean, half, I swear, half the time you're doing these, you are praying to God that it works. And then all of a sudden it does. This one's coming out more like I imagined it now, and that's a good thing. So I can actually show you this video and not be embarrassed. And it kind of works, you know, like I said before, you, you have your hands and it's got this glitter on it. Just to it, use it like you're flowering the cup. It just keeps, it keeps, it will tamp down what you're doing and, um, and not pick glitter back up again and, and, you know, erase what you're doing. You want it to stay. You just don't want it to stick up a mile. And half the time I stand up while I do it, sitting down is good too, though, because you can really see as it comes around the corner what's sticking up. It helps a lot and it's better on your back. And you can always come back later. Like like I said before, when the tape is about time to come off, you will still be able to tamp this down at that point. Tomorrow would be a, you probably wouldn't be able to make it stick down. It would be stuck up for good and that's it. So make sure that you're get it tamped down to the best of your ability the day that it's wet. It's kind of like a carnival, doesn't it? I really like it. I wanted the top to be white, that beautiful whipped cream white that I love so much, so that I could put um, her name up there in the white area. And all the action will be down here. I almost think I need more glue right here. Just maybe one more time, just a little bit. And don't worry, the glue dries clear, so you don't have to worry about it like messing up your glitter colors or anything. It won't do that. glitter not from the table and go back here because I want to make sure I get some of the nice pinks and stuff in here I just don't want to get so much glitter down here that it like sticks out a mile when you epoxy it so that's the only thing you don't want to do it's looking pretty good You can even take some of this white. It's just all it is is iridescent. Bring it back down here again. So it's like the real fine iridescent white. Just start tamping it down again. And all these extra pieces will fall off, so you don't have to worry about that. definitely looks like a carnival. It's going to be really pretty under epoxy, I think. And I did everything I told you not to do. So I wasted glitter on this one. So don't do that. <laughs> Always remember to remove your paper towel between colors. That's very important. As you can see, because this pretty much all this glitter I've got here is gonna have to go back in a baggie by itself. And I use it for like 
ornaments and stuff because it's not a pure color anymore. I want some of that chunky to stay on there, but it's just not doing it. The fine stuff is sticking mostly. I'm going to have a mess to clean up after this group. Holy cow. Oh, my Kraken's got glitter or spray glue on it. Oh, my goodness. Got a lot to clean up. Still trying to get like a some of the pinks to show up. You don't, you know, if you're not happy with it, the spray glue is a perfect way to revisit it. I mean, you don't have to take what happens the first time. You can keep doing this until you get with the look that you wanted. I was just not quite happy with it yet. That's why I keep adding more. So, if I can get this little bit more of this pink down here is what I want. That's a little better that time. I think I'm going to leave it alone now. I think I'm going to start dipping my finger and tamping it and being done with it. You can even put your whole hand in it if you want. If you have a whole big area. No reason not. You've got to make these stick down though because they are sticking up like porcupine right now. And that will be a nightmare to epoxy. But, luckily, they will lay down. Now's the time to do it, though. I'm kind of glad you, see, you saw me do one that wasn't really working the way I wanted it to because it happens and you got to kind of know how to, on the fly, figure out what you're going to do so that you don't lose your cup because I tell you stripping a cup the decision to strip a cup should should be the very last resort it's such a pain and you can always fix it you can always go back and add a layer of spray glue and hit this thing with glitter again I mean yes it might get a little thicker but really it won't it won't get that thick on you I think your cup that I did and my cup that I did way back in the beginning when all I was using was spray glue and not this epoxy method. Those were thick cups and I didn't care for them at all how they came out. But it was my first time and I was learning how to do glitter which is a royal pain in the ass as you can see. But it's beautiful. So all of the things that are are beautiful are such a pain. Alright I'm gonna get a, something to put this glitter in I don't want to lose all of it. I'm going to put it inside of a solo cup. I keep these solo cups over here, specific for this purpose. Some of this can actually go back in here because some of this is pure. What a nightmare of how I told you how to do this. Whew. Definitely not the way I would want you to do it in the future. This is what happens when you forget to change your paper towels. Now you're trying to recover your glitter. And you're in jeopardy of making a giant glitter bomb mess in your house. This is my good gypsy. I'm not going to lose this stuff. That's for damn sure. There's so much of it over here. I'm just probably going to have to buy more. <laughs> that 
really. Screw the pooch on this one. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do with this now, so I'm not going to cross contaminate anymore. I'm going to take this paper towel and dump all of this that I can into a solo cup. And I can use this for something else. It's got some whipped cream mixed in it, which is okay. That will so look good. And it's really not as much as it looks like on the paper towel. It looks like a nightmare on the paper towel, but it wasn't too bad. So now what I would do is just take this, mix it around. And all it is is gypsy mixed with whipped cream. Which is still pretty. And use it on something else. Use it like that. So... Alrighty then, let me put a new paper towel under here so you can actually see this thing. And it still looks good to me, it's looking okay. I've got a lot of cleanup to do though. Alright, so that's it for that one. Um, what I'm going to do with this one next is tomorrow of course I would um, glitter, or uh, I'm sorry, I would clear it one time and then clear it again in four hours. Right now I still see some things poking up so I'm gonna give this a little bit of time to start to cure up a little bit and I'll come back in here and push all these down so they'll really stay good. And I will um, show you the result of this one tomorrow. Alrighty?